What is up ladies and gentlemen, CJ the Cheese DJ here and we're back with another ARK modded episode for you guys today and as you can see we are back down to being absolutely freaking naked again. So uh, we didn't have much luck as you can imagine we just continuously kept dying so I decided to come over to a different part of the map and we're currently all the way over here in this back corner which I think is a better place for us to be to be honest because I'm actually thinking about building in the redwoods just because it'll allow us to build a treehouse where we'll be safe from majority of the things that can kill us in primal fear. So th that's my thought process. I found this little cave that's actually full of metal. It's full of stone. Uh, there's actually nothing super dangerous here. There is a Dimorphodon flying around and there's also a Perlovia standing guard at the door. But other than that, it's a relatively safe-ish area. So this is going to enable us to get a little bit of resources, a little bit of armor and weaponry up and running. And uh, it's also got heaps of metal. So we're going to be able to get a ton of metal and, and just hopefully be able to get enough resources to get going. Uh, I have no idea where our carrier turtles are. Uh, at this stage, I'm pretty much just assuming that they are absolutely positively dead. So there's not really much we can do about that. But you can see the Polovia just out there. So I've got to be a bit careful of him. I don't really have the capacity to kill him. So we just need to harvest up a bunch of wood and thatch and stuff while I'm out here. So that we can build the forges and everything like that. And we have enough stuff for the smithies and everything. But yeah, I'm thinking of building a treehouse in the... In the woods. Because that'll enable us to be safe from, well, everything on the floor. I've also changed some server settings. You can see here our stats reflect that. Um, I increased the amount of health that we get. So we get 50 per level. We get... I don't know how much stamina we get per level. 40? Is that 40? 30. Um, and yeah, weight and movement speed and fortitude has also been upped. And as you can see, we're also auto learning engrams. Now, I think I might have to turn this off because I know for a fact that as we, I don't think I have anything at the moment, but as we get further down the list of, of stuff, I know that there's stuff that you're not supposed to get until you kill bosses, like the celestial orbs, I'm pretty sure they're called. Yeah, but these 96, I'm pretty sure you're not supposed to unlock this actual engram until you kill a certain boss. So I will probably turn the auto learning engram thing off. Um, I think that'll make it a little bit better for us in terms of immersion and, and not like, not cheating, but like not getting things that we're not supposed to. Because I'm assuming that's what happened with us and the Exomech on Genesis 2, which is why we had access to craft it because of our auto engram learning thingy. So yeah, I've also decided to open up the server to you guys. So all you need to do is type in uh, CJ the Cheese DJ Fjorda and the server should come up. It is only a 10 person slot. So I apologize if you want to play on it and it is full or anything like that. You also will be able to receive exclusive dinos and all that sort of stuff through Patreon. So if you subscribe to the, the Patreon, you can also get exclusive stuff. Access to the server is completely free. It is also only for PC users as well. Okay, you know how I said this cave was like relatively safe with absolutely no threats? This Perlovia has decided to become a threat to us. I have no capacity to deal with him at the moment. So I'm going to try and get him to walk off the edge. At least he didn't stun us. Which is how he got us last time. Okay, here we go. <gasps> nope, that's not going to work. I'm probably just going to kill myself here. Okay, maybe I can leave him down the bottom here and he won't be able to come up and bother us. Okay, okay he's over there. There is still a little bit of metal on top here, I think. And we're just going to have to share this area with a very angry Perlovia for the time being. I don't think there is any metal up here now that I look around. Okay, this could be a bit of an issue. We're gonna, I, I got a little bit of metal. Not, I mean, there's metal down there. Okay, he's stuck. Hello? Uh, super... Okay, you should enter in the Olympics, mate. You'd be pro. That was ridiculous. Don't know what the hell happened there. He literally shot himself out of the water. Oh, come on, you bastard fool. Damn it, I thought I had him there. All right, this is... Yeah, this is annoying. I don't want to die here again. I'm just trying to... This is probably our best course of being able to get away from him here. I just can't really outrun him yet. Where'd he go? Did he fall down there? Mr. Pelovia, sir? I don't see him. Where'd he go? Did he like slingshot himself out of the cave? I don't know what that was about, but that's fine. Okay, so now that we've got all that sort of going... Oh, shit. I forgot about the hide aspect. We are going to need to kill that bastard. I need his hide. 
I'm pretty sure you can't bowl the Pelovias. I don't think I have anything to kill him with. Oh my god, look at all the hand grabs. I definitely won't be able to knock him out. He's a level 340. We've got some Dimorphodons. I could probably kill them, but we need hide for the bowlers to begin with. I'm just taking a look. I haven't actually... I don't even know what I've learned because it auto-learns it. So I think I might just turn it off as well because it's kind of annoying not knowing what you learned and then, you know, I, I don't know. I might turn it off. I might have to try and kill that Dimorphodon somehow. I don't really want to wander back out here because I know there's probably much more dangerous stuff than this Perlovia, but I'm going to need to get some hide. I should be able to make some spears. Dermis display? Yeah, alright. We'll make a couple of spears. I think that's that's like the best weaponry I've got right now. Probably a bow and arrows as well, actually. I'll make some spears. I'll make a bow. I'll see if I can find some hide and stuff and we'll bring you guys back in a bit. Alright guys, we're in a bit of uh, trouble here. We've got a mantis behind us now. So, I, you know, ventured out to get some hide and it's not working out for us. I don't know if I can kill this guy. I don't even know what level it is. I've only got 33 arrows, so I'm kind of pushing it. There is a Tyranodon behind us. But, uh... We don't have any bowlers to be able to tie it down, so... Oh, shit. I've got myself trapped here. How much damage did that take? 97. Judging by how hard it hits, I'm going to say it's not relatively high, but... I don't really want to die because getting back here is a pain in the ass. Don't fall off this cliff. Okay, hopefully the mantis falls off the cliff here. I don't think I have enough arrows to be able to snipe it to death, to be honest. Actually, is it bloody? I can't really see. I, I mean, even if we kill it, we're not really going to get anything useful off it. I guess the Kaiden. There is a Tyranodon running around. If I can get enough hide, we can try and bowler that Tyranodon and tame it. How many arrows have I got left? Ten? I'm going to say this guy is super strong, though. I'm not seeing any blood on him. Yeah, he's not bloody. Okay, uh, let's run over this way. This bit here is a relatively safe-ish, except for the demonic hyena on just chilling over there. So, I don't really want to gather his attention. I think there's also a cave back here. Nope, just a, 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 a thingy waterfall. Okay. Um, well, I mean, at least we probably have lost the mantis. Just don't aggro on me, demonic hyena on, please. Oh, shot. You, okay, uh, we're in trouble. I've got an idea. Do your little, do your long jump. Oh, fuck. Oh, god damn it. Man, this mod is just so unforgiving, which is one of the reasons why I like it, but, yeah, like. Alright, we can get back there. It's just super annoying to try and get back there, but I guess if we spawn on the beach, we'll be able to kill a couple of dodos. Only problem is I haven't seen any dodos. I've seen plenty of toxic dodos. No normal dodos, though. So, back to square one again. Okay, guys, we're in trouble. There's a freaking primal aloe that has just spawned in. It wasn't there a second ago when we... <gasps> I think we're okay. I don't think I can get up here. Oh, there's rocks. There's a big... Oh, no. I don't know if it's a primal Kano. It, the, the battle music playing is suggesting... I'm pretty sure that's a primal Kano. They're like one of the strongest non-boss dinos that you... Oh, man, that's a toxic parasaur as well. We're in trouble. I'm honestly just trying to get away from that damn aloe. Man, this, yeah, this mod is super unforgiving, which is why I like it for. And the, when they've, the fact that they've changed the progression system as well, it used to be a lot easier before they changed the progression system, and then they changed that, and it just got 10 times harder. Which, oh, hold on. That's an elite Dimorphodon. I don't know if, I don't think these guys are hostile. Alpha Dimorphodon. I'm pretty sure I need Alpha Kibble to tame it. Damn. I thought it was a, an elite one. And the elite ones, are you don't need Kibble. They're just normal tames. They're just bigger. Like those Mose Chops from last episode were elite Mose Chops. Oh, man, come on. I, I just got a bit excited there because I was like, sweet, we can get a, a, an easy flyer. There's a fort over here. I'm going to go take a look because I think this leads into the mountain. Oh, hold on. Okay, I've got no hide to bowler this thing. We're going to die here again, if I'm not smart about it. Oh, okay. 
Can we run? Run, run, run. I don't think I can outrun the raptor. Not yet, anyway. Come on, come on. I'm hoping that we're relatively safe inside the Dwarven Fort. Let's go find out. It is going to lag a bit because it's probably going to start trying to load some stuff in. That's a big dillo. Oh, shit. It's still after us. <laughs> I like the running up. Oh, what the hell are they? Are they was that a wyvern? That wasn't a normal looking wyvern. Shit. That wasn't a normal wyvern. Oh, okay. Here comes the lag because, yeah, we're probably loading all the stuff inside of it. We're probably going to die here anyway because the raptor will catch us and kill us. Yep. We lagged out and, and died from the raptor. All right. Well, I mean, yeah, I'm just going to have to keep going. And I never thought the day would come where I would lose to three level 200 compies. These guys... Okay, we killed one. This is the last one. Hopefully it runs away. I don't even know if there's going to be bad stuff behind us. These guys, like, chunked us for half HP. I was trying to make some arrows to kill these guys, but they just... Okay. Kept coming. Well, we've got our source of hide. I was making my way over here because there are a bunch of tames over here um, that I could probably kill for more hide. There was some, some dillos and a parasaur as well. And I'm honestly even contemplating just taming up the parasaur. It's only like a, a normal le a normal parasaur. But honestly, we need just hide. Okay. There's an alpha dillo there too. I'm pretty sure that's an alpha dillo. i got levels here. How many levels we got? Four. I'm going to buff movement speed so I can make sure I can run away from everything. And we'll go some stamina. Yeah, but I, I definitely think I'll turn off this auto engram learning. Because I think we need some stuff. We need to defeat stuff to get stuff. And I don't want to mess that up. I kind of want to go back to the Dwarven Mountain and explore it some more. But I know I should get a flyer like... Is that a Pelagornis? Honestly, I would settle for a Pelagornis. I would settle for any flyer right now. I don't really care. <laughs> as long as I can ride the damn thing. I don't, what do I need for a Pelagorna saddle? Kite and fiber and hide. Honestly, I don't. I mean, I can make the trank spears. That might be the way. I've just got to be careful. Yeah, there's a bunch of dillos over there, and there's a toxic dodo and an alpha pteranodon. I think they, that alpha pteranodon will definitely kill us. Titanomininas. This is actually the titanomininas isn't a bad thing because we can get them for kite as long as they're not... Okay, they're like level 300. They're going to kill us here. I'm definitely dead here. Yep. Losing to bugs. The only way to go. There is no way I kill these guys. God damn. Man, this... Yeah, this mod. Woo! I mean, we also... I mean, the, the level 600 is part of the mod. You're supposed to crank it up to level 600 as far as I'm aware. So... We'll see how we go. I'm just going to try and build up again because this is just a rerun of last episode. Okay, guys. Uh, we were just minding our own business and a big-ass explosion went off. Now, I'm going to say there's probably a demonic tame up the toppy. We do... Hit me. Oh, more of these stupid ants. We do have more... Uh, we've got these corpses that I'm going to try and harvest. Uh, I'm just going to have to run from these guys. I'm going to try and get some of this. Can't really get much. These ants are gonna kill me. There's an egg. I'll take the egg. I'm assuming that there's yeah, there's definitely something up on this cliff because it wasn't a small explosion. It was freaking soul shaking. I'm kind of tempted to try and tame this stigma lock. Is that what it is? Yeah, it is. But it's an alpha. I can't really tame it. All right, let's just keep running. Oh nope, there's a tech raptor. I don't want to die again. We also found a drop, and we got a helmet out of it, and a, a stego saddle as well. So I mean, it's nothing incredible, but it's something. I'm just trying to survive at this stage. Okay, and that is definitely a dodo wyvern. Oh my god, please don't kill me, dude. I don't know where he went. I was making my way over to this Lamantria because I thought I could try and tame it up. I don't think the Dodo Wyvern wants that. We can make a tent because we're getting silk from these bushes. <gasps> it's found us. Run. Oh, there's a Corrupted Chalice Ethereum. Oh, man. Why did, what did I get myself into? Why did I agree to do this for? All right. Are we good? Well, I mean, I'm not going to be able to get those Lamantrias now. They've definitely run off. There is nothing down this way. All right. Uh, yeah, this is kind of just like a rerun of last episode. 
<laughs> oh man. Alright, we're pretty much back where we've spawned. Because, yeah, there's the... Oh, shit. There's the primal aloe. We need to run. Like, now. Just go this way again. There's the battle music. You know that's a clear sign that you need to get the hell out of there. Alright, well, I mean, this helmet is going to provide us with a bit of protection. We are low on health, though, because we've been taking full damage. I just need some hide. And every time I get some, we die. Is there anything stuck in these little ravines? No? Alright. Uh, yeah, I don't know really what we're going to be able to do because a lot of the tames and stuff, like the wild dinos that we're finding, are like level 500. And you know, there's not much... Oh! I don't think I can kill that either, to be honest. I don't want to risk going up to it and seeing what its health is. It's not worth the risk. We need some dodos or something. I really want to tame a Pelagornis. We need a flyer. Okay, that Bracky should be peaceful. I haven't given it any... Reason to attack me. I was like, there's stomping going on. What's happening? It's just the Bracky over there. Okay, guys. We've just found a level 100 Pelagornis. This guy right here. Now, there's also a Parasaur over here, which I'm... It's level 540. God damn. I was going to say, we can try and kill that guy to get some hide, but... 540 with no bowlers or anything. We're going to have a very impossible time to do that. So, I really don't know what I can do here. Uh, unless my only course of action that I'm thinking we can do is if I just travel to another section of the map. And just go from there, because honestly, like, there's not really much else I can do. I thought I saw... Elystrosaurus. I didn't even see what level that guy was. Alright, you know what I can try doing? Hold on. There is something big nearby, because the sky has weirdened, and there was a very loud boom. Where'd that other Pelagornis go? I saw it had landed. I don't know where it went. Hold on. Is that, like, a normal Dillo? I think that is a normal Dillo over there. There's a Pteranodon over there too. I don't know if that's an Alpha or something. I should be able to kill this Dillo if it's a normal. No, it's not a normal. It's an Alpha. Run. Okay. Trike, I might need your help here. Can you help a buddy out? Is that Dillo still coming after us? If I can get the Dillo spit to hit the Trike, I should be able to... Sort of deal with it, I guess? I don't know. We'll find out. Alright, here it comes. This is this is my best cause of action. Did he hit it? No, the trike's just doing a poo. Oh, it's it's not aggroed on us anymore? Okay. Man, uh yeah, I, I don't want to go back this way because that's gonna take us back to the primal aloe. And even if I do manage to kill that alpha dillo, I, I still don't get normal hide, I get the the alpha hide. So we're in a we're in a bit okay, hold on. I might have to... What level are you? Please be a low level. 80. Done. I hope it doesn't pass out in the water. I don't even know if it's going to pass out at all. Okay. Well. That went swell. I need bowlers. I need... I need something. Uh, Alright. I'm going to try and get some hide guys and uh, I'll see what we can do. Alrighty guys. i got some good news. I got a Pelagornis stuck here. We followed it, that, that that level 100 one on the beach. I got... Oh, shit. We followed it up here. It's stuck in the walls. Nice. Alright, it's asleep. I'm going to try and deal with this stupid icty. I didn't even see what level it was. I don't think it'll kill us, this icty, but I mean, I have to freaking hit it with the arrows first. These things are, like, impossible to hit, too. I mean... We've got the thingy knocked out, which is good news for us. I think this was like a level 200 something. I don't think there's any hope for me being able to kill this thing, to be honest. I can't even hit it. Okay, if that Pelagornis gets himself stuck, I can try and kill him. Uh, get him stuck. No. That was our chance, and we missed, messed it up. Bro, not my blood. I can't hit this thing to save my life. Literally. <sighs> okay, I'm running. I'm going to have to try and remember where that guy is. I don't know if they eat fish meat or regular meat. I'm just going to have to try and wing it. Oh, fucking hell. My boat broke. 
What egg is that? An icky egg? I'm taking your baby. Lol? Okay, never mind. Can you stop? You damned freaking seagull. I never thought a seagull would give me so much trouble. Also, Ark's freaking hitboxes are shit. How many times do I have to see blood splatters and not actually deal damage for this thing to register? <laughs> I mean, this is the only source of hide we've found. I don't know. I mean, it looks like it's taking damage. When my shots decide to hit. God damn it. Bracky, you want to lend a hand, mate? You could literally just stomp this guy and kill him for us. Alrighty, guys. I think this thing is starting to get low. I'm seeing... Yes! Of course, it's a 5 freaking 80. As high level as possible. Alright, finally, we have a bit of hide. What do I need for a Pelagorna saddle? I'm pretty sure I need Kaiden. Yeah, and more hide. <laughs> of course, we need more hide. Alright, we need to get some food here. Uh, let's chow down on that. I'm probably going to drop this prime meat off in the, the Pelagornas. I don't remember if they eat fish meat or if it's normal meat that you can use. What do I want to level up here? I'm going to go another point into Fortitude. Uh, we'll go a couple. We've got some Phoenix armor. Alright. Can I track it? That's the question. There's a parasol down here as well that I'm going to try and... Kill? What level are you, mate? 560. That's the same one from before. Um, okay. <laughs> Man, these these levels, yeah, they're not... I, I, there's no point in bowling it. Uh, no, because, I mean, we struggled to kill a 150 with a bow and arrow. All right, let's try and get up to this Pelagornis and get some food in it. At least we can get up to it okay. I don't know if the Star Turtle drops Kaiden. I might, that actually might be our play here. It does need fish meat. Shit. Okay. Um, yeah, this killing this Star Turtle might actually be our play here because I'm pretty sure they dropped Keratin. When we killed it. And this is the Glow one, so it should only be like level 80, I think. If... Oh, it's not very happy at us. If I remember correctly, they had about 1,200 health. Maybe it'll give us some extra height as well. And we can cut this guy back to the beach while we're shooting him in hopes to get some prime fish meat. I mean, this is actually working okay because he, he can't really hit us with his tail swing. By the time he goes to swing, we're already pretty far away. Except I can kill us like, unless I get stuck like this. I should have checked its level. Oh, it's a 340, of course. Okay, well, we're running away because that thing is going to have god tier amounts of health. Um, fish meat. I need to get some fish meat. It's definitely not taming off regular meat. I've got some coelacanths here. I'll take them. Please don't run from me. I just, I need this. I really need this in my life. <laughs> Please give me your meat. I don't know how quick it's going to tame up. Honestly, I'm, I don't think I really care. All I know is I need a flyer <laughs> to get us out of here. I guarantee you the moment we tame it, we're going to run into that dodo wyvern and it's just going to kill us. I'm, I'm saying that and I'm really hoping it doesn't jinx myself. Were you calling for backup? Is that what your friend's coming in for? I need a smaller leveled fish. That thing was 540, the one that we were trying to kill. Come on! 380. I've also got to be careful of it waking up. I just need a low level fish. Beautiful. We take you. I don't know why I'm auto grabbing it for. That's really weird. <gasps> oh, Jesus. You can keep the fish. You, you can have it. It's yours. Just leave me alone. Just, just go away. Oh my God. He brought the whole freaking squad. Okay. Never venturing into the ocean ever again. That was straight up terrifying. All right, let's go get this fish meat in the Pelagornis. I thought there was a, a thingy majiggy. I got excited. A hey, uh, elite dimorphodon. Okay, there's big ass terrifying music playing again, which means something very, very bad and dangerous is nearby. Okay, this Pelagornis shouldn't take much to tame up. I'm going to leave it there. and We're going to go hunt for some Kaiden. I'm going to try and find those Titan Mininas that killed us before. And even if I can just kill the drones... Because we need we need Kaiden for the saddles. There they are there. 
Look at them freaking mobilize like the bloody Autobots. They're like, there's a human in our presence, let's go. And there's a freaking level 600 one. That bastard that we're shooting into is level 600. If I can deal with the flying ones, we should be able to take out the... The ground ones as well, like okay-ish. There is definitely something dangerous. I don't know if it's a dire wolf. It definitely sounds like one. I don't know why we're getting those sound effects all the way down here though from it. Come on, you bastards. Okay, first one's down. Now we're going to kill the big bastard. And I've also got to remember to go back and get the Kaiden. You know what? We'll do that now. Okay, it's only 30, but it'll count. We've still got five more of these guys to kill. That that sound effect is really terrifying. <laughs> I don't know what it is. You got enough arrows? I'm pretty sure you're more arrow than freaking bug at this stage. Okay, got the second one. Alright, so now we can go deal with the drones. I'm pretty much out of arrows though, so I'll make some more of those. Um, there's got to be a better weaponry I can make to... Starter block, large wooden wall. I mean, I don't think there is anything really. Yeah, I don't think there's really anything we can use to... To fight better anyway. Alright. So how much chitin did I get from that? We have 64. I needed, what, 100 and something? 75. And we need a bit more hide. So I might have to kill this uh, parasol here as well. I think that might be the play. And that should honestly give us enough hide to be able to do everything. Pelagornis. I should have dropped some narco berries. It should tame up before it wakes up, I hope. Alright, we need to find the rest of those drones, kill those guys, and then i got to try and kill this parasol. Oh, hold on. What is that? That's a different parasol. 240. Okay, that one I can kill. Let's try and find these drones first. There they are. Nice, level 80. Please be low levels like your friend. Nice, level 60. Come on, be a low level. 200. I mean, 200 is okay. Okay, nice. Who would have thought that ants would have given me so much damn trouble? Alright, that's them taken care of, so we can try and deal with this parasol now. I don't know if I can make bowlers. I should, yeah, I should be able to make one or two. Which should be worth it. I'll make three. Should be worth it for this parasol. Except where did it go? Okay, it's sticking close to the turtle. I don't know how much health a level 240 parasol would have, but... I'm not looking forward to finding out. I'm just going to have to keep loading arrows into it. And then once it breaks free of the bowler, we'll just have to follow it around. Wait the little time thingy that it takes for it to get bowlered again. And then we're going to have to just bowler it again. Oh no, managed to kill it. Nice. Good dog. Good job, me. Alright, this should, yeah, give us plenty of hide. Should get about 200 from this. Still going? Nice. Alright, 300. I'll take it. Man, this is, uh, yeah, this is going to make life a lot easier, this Pelagonus. I'm going to go up to it and put some Narco Berries into it to be on the safer side of things because I really don't want this waking up. The fact that we even managed to get one is amazing and it's, well, I mean, I haven't gotten it yet. I don't want to jinx myself because I can guarantee whatever's making those terrifying noises is probably just above us. And I really don't want it coming down here. All right, that's cool. We're just going to wait for this guy to tame up. I'll try and farm some more hide, I guess. I don't know. Alrighty, guys, and the Pelagornis is tamed up. Thank God for that, because honestly, I was <laughs> ready to call it quits. I'm going to give it a name. It deserves a name. First tame of the series. Let's give it the saddle that we made up. Alright, how much do we weigh on it? Heaps. It's only got 219 weight. Honestly, I don't care. <laughs> I really don't. The fact that we managed to get this in itself is just great. How much stamina does it actually have? 400. Oh yeah, look, there's a freaking Primal Kentrosaurus up here. Luckily it didn't come... Oh, Jesus, now it's aggroed on us. Thank God it didn't come down on us earlier, otherwise... I <laughs> don't even want to think about it. Alrighty, so we've got our little flyer now, so we should be able to traverse the map... Uh, ...a little bit easier. I've got to still avoid... ...anything that looks dangerous, I guess, which is pretty much everything. 
Hold the phone. Hold the phone. Hold the phone. Hey, mate. How you doing today? Level 540. You're going to take quite a lot to kill, aren't you? You know what? I probably am better off trying to put it to sleep. Maybe? No, it's already super bloody. Or is that from my spear jabs? Oh, crap. Apelagonis is on follow. That is most definitely going to get it to die. Just sit still, seagull. Okay. Yeah, so we've got our Pelagonis. I'm just going to kill this Listro because there is nothing around it and free hide. So I need as much as I can get at this stage of the game. And yeah. But uh, we need to try and find a base spot that we're going to set up in. Like I said, I do kind of want to set up in the redwoods in the trees. That limits the amount of things that can reach us and kill us. And I think that's a good call. Oh my god, this Listro and his health. Yeah, I feel like that's a good call, but I'm not entirely sure about it. So... We'll have to see whether or not that's a good idea. Now that we have a flyer, we can kind of explore the map a little bit better. And decide where we... Fudge Knuckles! Seagull! Take off. Let's go. Screw the freaking Lystrosaurus. Man, okay. We almost lost Seagull and our life. That would have been... Uh, that would have been a killer. I think I can finish this guy off. It's going to grab us. Pretty sure it can grapple us. I want the freaking list right now. Too late, it's dead. Okay. You know what? Don't care. You can have it. We're still alive. We're going to level up stamina here. So yeah, now that we've got a fly, we can kind of fly around the map a bit and do some exploring and, and see where we... There's a demon, demonic hyena around here, I'm pretty sure. And, and see where we want to build and everything like that. But for now, guys, we're going to wrap the episode up here today. This one was a, this one was a killer as well. So much death and dying, but at least we finally got our first tame, which is great. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe down below for more, and I'll catch you in the next one.